and we'd like to introduce you to our first product, the Passport to Downtown Evanston, which is a business information and shopping app that helps businesses create awareness for promotions that are currently going on and helps them reach out to shoppers. So when we were meeting with a lot of businesses earlier this year, we were trying to understand their needs and the things that they need to accomplish in order to be successful. And most of that is generating traffic to their business. And there's a couple ways that they can do that. First, they can do it through coupons and offering coupons in one of the ways. And um, But unfortunately, as soon as a coupon is printed, it's out in distribution and you can't make any changes to that. You also, in order to actually um, you know, create a new, prom a new promotion, you have to print new coupons. You can put a signboard outside your business, and that certainly can help you collect people that are walking by. But that's not really generating traffic, that's just fishing for traffic. And uh, you can use many of the uh, email lists and group buying websites, but depending on the economics of your business, this solution might just be too costly. We also are planning on working closely with merchant associations. They're another one of our customers. And their goal is to help promote these local businesses and help keep those, that capital local. And one of the ways that they do that is through offering gift cards and signing up businesses to accept those gift cards. And uh, another way is by creating a brand for their business district. And so we have been working closely with the group uh, Downtown Evanston over the last five months and uh, we're very pleased to um, have gone live last week and uh, have many users using our app. And so basically what we've been able to do is uh, by working with these merchant associations and co-branding with them, actually uh, develop this what is essentially a mobile billboard for businesses to place their promotions and reach out to shoppers. So how exactly does it work? Well, first a uh, business will log on to our website, create a uh, location and create a promotion, which will go live on a shopper's phone. And a shopper can peruse the different offers that are going on around them, <coughs> select one, walk into the business, and the cashier will then present them with a QR code, which they scan. And that's how we verify that they're actually eligible for the offer. Then we provide the business with uh, relevant information regarding how many people have redeemed the offer and how their offers are working. So um, now Phil is going to give you a quick demo. All right, so we'll go into the demo for the website first. This is from the merchant side of things. Um, so first thing, um, we're live in both stores, but that's not relevant. Um, the first thing that they see is this is our homepage. Um, we've got the download links on the left for the two apps. And then the first thing that a business will do is register their business um, when they go to that. Um, they can come through and put in their name, their logo, um, a short description, an email address, and a website. Um, so once they're registered, um, they add themselves to a location. And so, for example, they might add themselves to downtown Evanston, or Old Orchard, or somewhere else. Um, and then they add a location address and a phone number for that particular location. Um, once they're set up in a location, they create a promotion. So the business, the, the location that they want to be at, and then what the promotion is. And they can set up limits on it, times, all different sorts of things, and then the specific details, and then make it live. Um, so that's essentially the process for the merchant side of things. Um, so now, um, we'll go into actually using the app from the user perspective. Um, so, first thing that they do is they jump onto our pages, either Android or iPhone, they're live. Um, they download the app for free. Um, and then they launch it. So um, they launch the app. Um, the first thing that they do is they look through categories of things that the promotions that are running fall into. So they've got their favorites, um, shopping, food and drink, services, entertainment, health and beauty, and then everything. Um, so say I am a freshman here at Northwestern. Um, my name is Matt. And I am running towards the end of the quarter because it's finals, and I'm an EDC. And if you know anything about EDC, um, you know everything happens the last week. And so like many EDC students, I'm desperate to finish up my project for EDC. And I'm looking for sheet metal. Um, and I need specifically quarter-inch sheet metal 
of a specific type of aluminum, and I don't know that we have it in the shop. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into services, and I'm going to say, oh, Ace Hardware, they probably have something. So what it shows you here is, oh, I'm sorry, it's not the same. Um, so you can list something as a favorite. Um, you can view it on the map, which is especially relevant to me as a freshman because I don't know exactly where it is. And you can make a phone call to make sure that they have the sheet metal in stock. So, for example, if I wanted to call them, it asks you if you want to call. Um, and then I can view them on the map. And it'll show me exactly where they are. Okay, so I'm going to go redeem it. Um, when I press redeem, it opens up the camera. Um, and then you scan a QR code at the business. This is what we're providing to each of the businesses. It's a unique QR code. Um, they scan it and it authorizes it and validates it. Um, and I'm gonna, that's not the right one, but um, I'll just show the right one. So this is the one for the Moy Ace. Um, scan the code. Um, and then scan successfully. So this is what you show to the merchant, and this is what they're looking for to actually authorize it. Um, so you show this, and then it's validated. Um, and then the number of redemptions has gone to zero. Um, so it is no longer eligible. <coughs> you can't open that up anymore. Um, so that's the app. And I'll throw it back over to Austin. Where's the metal? <laughs> <laughs> so thanks, Phil. Yeah. Um, so, Sweetberg is a shopping app, and as you all know, the space is crowded with a lot of different players. Um, we try to illustrate where we place ourselves in the market by looking at it in two dimensions. Uh, pretty much uh, destination-oriented apps, and apps that show you about any deals around you. And then on the horizontal, uh, horizontal axis, you have deal apps versus shopping apps. Um, there are lots of formidable players in the space, um, but we feel we play right up in the top right corner uh, of the chart here. We're essentially a destination-oriented app um, that is focused on shopping behavior. So from the demonstration you just saw, when you go to a specific shopping destination, any merchant <coughs> that's giving promotions or offers, you can easily find and you can go redeem them if you want. We believe our competitive advantages are, um, we have an algorithm for placing contextual <coughs> ads at the time of purchase, so you saw the screen that Phil showed after you um, successfully scan um, your QR code. What we're doing there is we're working, we have an Excel model that based on the current purchase that you've made, tries to find branded ads, so from ad um, advertising agencies who are looking to um, place targeted ads to you based on what you'll probably be thinking about buying next. Um, second, we've, we've proven that um, this model is preferable to local businesses and to merchants just by the amount of success that we've had here at downtown Evanston. Um, as far as defensibility, we believe that after we partner with merchants, it may increase their switching costs, primarily because we're a really cool app to use and people enjoy using it. And hopefully we plan to sign contracts that will not be too limiting, but may raise the barriers uh, um, to exit. And also, we have a patent pending for the redemption process, which may or may not fall our way, but it's something that we're, we're um, excited about. Mac day. All right, so we've, we've had um, success in partnering with local merchants associations, and we believe we can replicate the same thing with malls. Um, the key <coughs> question is how do we acquire users? And we look at it from the perspectives of launch, growth, and maturity. And across that spectrum, um, we primarily are going to focus on social network integration. So we want to go viral. And uh, after this launch phase, we're going to focus on referral and rewards. Um, as a way to, for, for users to share this app with their friends and get more people using the app. Also, we plan to use the blog strategy to get the influencers to talk about Sweetbrooks. Primarily at lunch, we're going to focus on direct email. So by emailing students groups here um, with our merchants associations to, to email and blast the app to their residents in order for them to use it. And also, by focusing on um, rewards, we, we plan to have users redeem in order to win maybe an iPad or something to incentivize them to use um, the uh, QR redemption process. 
the business model, um, primarily we've talked about just partnering with merchants, and the way we do that is we partner with them, we demo with, we meet with businesses to demo the app and communicate the value proposition. We deploy the app, and then we consult with them after deployment in in, in order to maximize the revenue. All the time we're focusing on user acquisition. Um, how we make money? Fundamentally, we're going to charge for developing the app for every local business, and we plan to charge eight thousand dollars per app. Um, and also, in terms of having businesses list, uh, we plan to charge um, per impression. So, after a business finds value in it, the initial trial run will be free. If they want to go on and do new promotions, it would be 10 bucks a month. And then every um, redemption, we charge them, based on that transaction, a buck. Uh, furthermore, as I talked about the analogy in terms of mapping contextual and targeted ads, uh, we plan to partner with ad agencies and you know, instead of after you hit the OK screen, probably display three or five targeted ads where they'll be matched to the person's actual um, specific behavior. And we plan to charge about thirty-two fifty um, per impression. Based on our initial rough estimation, this leads us to about um, an $8.8 million valuation in five years uh, with a net profit margin of 28%. So critical success factors going forward, based on the insights we've gathered, um, they have still launched so far. We have 85 iPhone users and 75 Android. We have seven redemptions, and the main reason is that we're already driving people to this place. Merchants are not interested in slowing down the redemption process, so they say, oh, we'll give you the deal anyway, no need to scan. We can't have that happen. So it's critical that we find a way to make sure um, users actually encourage merchants to present them with a QR code. People really love the app. A lot of the feedback that we've gotten is that it's simple, it's, it's intuitive to use. Um, reviews that we've had on LinkedIn and from people um, continue to support it. So it's something that's cool and we're, we're very excited about that. And I already talked about the fact that business are not incentivized to present the QR code. So it's something we're going to work on through the summer. So next steps, going viral, sign on one more merchant association and one mall and plan to go crazy um, at the beginning of these of the fall quarter, uh, next quarter, with our marketing campaign. So that's us. Uh, we're looking primarily for our mentorship in any way, shape, or form that would help us continue to grow the concept. And so you have the opportunity to meet with us after this presentation. And thanks for the opportunity.